My name is Dr. My name is Dr. Benjamin Schaefer. I studied dentistry at Frankfurt University Hospital and graduated in 2002. In 2005, I opened up my own practice here in Dry Eich, and since then I have specialized in dental implantology. The philosophy behind my workflow and method is to keep waiting times for patients short. When they have an appointment, they should be seen on time and not require several follow-up visits. I try to get as much possible done in one visit. This includes multiple implants or treating several teeth in one session, if the patient can tolerate it. What I particularly enjoy about my job as a dentist is contact with patients, human interaction. That is the most important thing for me. And the manual work. I really like that part of my job to create something. I enjoy inserting implants into bones and later placing the attractive prosthesis on them. I was enthusiastic about the idea of offering non-metallic restorations from the start, and I have always been a big fan of full ceramic restorations. This is why I wanted to treat my patients using only full ceramic when I first opened my practice. Of course, glass ceramic is very fragile for larger restorations, such as a large bridge. You need a core for this, like the earlier metal core. I thought it was great to use zirconia for this. Everything is white, and I think everything has a more aesthetic appearance. Full zirconia has the advantage that it is not susceptible to chipping, as far as I know. Surfaces can be damaged not only when you grind your teeth, but when biting down on something hard as well. This is truly a material that meets all the requirements of a biting surface. Probably better than a real tooth. Of course, it is also possible that the antagonist tooth could be damaged because this material is harder. But if you pay attention to occlusion and have lateral movement made before and after insertion to make sure everything fits, I see no reason not to use it. In my opinion, it is ideal due to its stability. Patients all love it. They see no difference at all to the appearance of adjacent teeth or the antagonist, and they are completely satisfied. My workflow for implants is as follows. Patients come after the completion of healing, the implant is exposed, and after 7 to 10 days, the impregum impression of the implant is made. Then, the opposing jaw is shaped with alginate, and the impression trays reach my technician the same day. The implant crowns are finished in five working days. Then the patient returns. The patients are first shown the finished tooth on a model before it is placed in their mouth. Full zirconia in one visit, patients would definitely love that. Patients would not have to return to have the restoration inserted. They wouldn't need a temporary. I would use digital impressions if they were really accurate, if the accuracy was just as good as conventional impressions. It would really be easier for patients because they wouldn't need the relatively large impression tray in their mouth. The tray has to remain in the mouth for some time without moving. Some patients have trouble breathing through their noses. The airway may be obstructed by impression material that expands into the back of the throat. This is not ideal for patients. I have quite a few patients who would definitely prefer digital impressions. Impressions.